Good evening, my name is Louis Major. I'm with Technicolor, located in uh, Toronto. My uh, title is Vice President of uh, Technicolor Canada. I'm responsible for uh, Vancouver, Montreal, and Toronto. Technicolor is very honored to be receiving the Bill Hilson Award this evening. Uh, it's an honor because we've been uh, contributing into this business for 100 years. It happens to be our 100th year anniversary, so it's, it's a double uh, pleasure to receive it, an honor, and uh, for our contribution to the motion picture and broadcast business. My name is Jesse Wente. I'm the Director of Film Programs at Tiff Bell Lightbox. So we're really privileged to have an actual Technicolor three-strip camera here at the Tiff Bell Lightbox for the Dreaming in Technicolor retrospective. This was a camera um, designed by Technicolor in the 30s as part of their three-strip Technicolor process. It was um, made, it was constructed by the Mitchell Camera Corporation in California, all of the Technicolor cameras were. There were 35 created, 29 for theatrical, 35 millimeter, uh, and then there were six created for animation. Walt Disney was one of the great pioneers of three-step uh, Technicolor, so six of those were earmarked um, for those. And I think they also made two slow motion um, uh, Technicolor cameras. The one we're looking at here is actually number 26 of the 29 made for uh, Technicolor. These cameras were in operation between about 1932, 1933, up until the mid-50s when they generally went uh, out of style. Um, what was unique about them is that un unlike a regular 35 millimeter camera, instead of one negative strip, 35 millimeter strip negative going through, you actually have three traveling through the camera at the same time. The light is reflected through a prism and exposes all three strips at the same time. And you're capturing three different records. You're capturing the blue, green, and red record of the film, which then allows you to get vivid, lifelike technicolor that we are used to uh, in the movies. Hello, my name is Richard J. Anobile, and uh, I work in post-production in Toronto right now. And uh, my current projects, I manage post-production for The Strain as associate producer and also a Canadian series called X Company for the CBC, uh, both of which are uh, completed at Technicolor. Uh, Strain shoots entirely in Toronto and completes here at Technicolor. Uh, X Company shoots in Budapest and everything comes back to us at Technicolor. We even have our picture editorial staff at Technicolor. So we had created a post high for that show so that our showrunners, who were fairly young, had an opportunity to really immerse themselves into the post process and it's worked fabulously. Uh, uh, the, um, uh, the showrunners for that show were Mark Ellis and Stephanie Morgenstern. They had created Flashpoint, so Flashpoint had also uh, done its post uh, at Technicolor. So uh, I'd say for the last... Ten or more years in Toronto, I've been working at Technicolor, and then when I worked in LA, I also worked at Technicolor. We no longer shoot film, um, but uh, because of my background, I uh, started in film. Uh, I actually started writing and editing books on film, and one of the things I did when I was working in New York was actually do a show with Robin Mamoulian, who was the director of Becky Sharp, which was the first three-strip Technicolor process. It introduced that process uh, to the world of film. And it was a fascinating experience to hear him talk about how they art directed the film specifically to take advantage of the new process, which of course became the standard in the industry for many years. But going forward, uh, one of the things uh, as we moved into digital that I always wanted to preserve was how do we preserve that corporate history, that film corporate history. Uh, we know there's a real different look between video, uh, digital, and, and, and celluloid. How can we move celluloid into the digital realm, create a hybrid so that the colorists and the cinematographers working today don't lose what viewers expect uh, a, a, an image to look like. So imagine being 100 years old and, 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 and still be able to operate. I hope I can get there. Yes, of course, congratulations. And I know from what I understand the company is getting into that they will continue to be a leader uh, in, 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 in entertainment one way or another. What's unique about and special about this event is cinematography. And Technicolor is involved in color. Color has been evolving for 100 years, which we've been a part of. So it's the perfect uh, venue for us to kick off our 100th year anniversary. My name is Grace Carnelli Davis, and I'm Vice President of Sales and Client Service at Technicolor Toronto. 
I've been with the company 21 years and it's been a, a very fulfilling 21 years with um, innovation each year and growing the business and, and always working with the producers to understand what they're looking for and how we get to their end product. And I think Technicolor uh, has done that so well over 100 years because they listen, they hear what the client's needs are, the creative, and we take it further. I think that we send the message worldwide of what we do with our UK office, our LA office, um, you know, our New York office, Toronto. I think that um, we're always striving for the same things, which is the client and the creative. And I think, uh, you know, l listening to our clients and what they're looking for and where the next gen where the next generation's going and what they're looking for, I think uh, makes us strong. We bundle packages, we can do full service. And what I love about my job is that I'm able to offer a producer from script to screen everything they need. There isn't one element in that process that I can't offer them. And I love doing that. And being able to connect them with those creatives and, and the things that's going to make their picture successful. Being in the business for 30 years myself, uh, we keep evolving our, our technology and being inventive with our talent. We have talented colorists, editors, sound mixers. We, under, we offered a bundled service with our technology and our people and our history. Uh, this makes us the leading uh, facility in Canada. Technicolor, uh, being 100 years in the business, being involved with color, but involved with sound, visual effects, distribution of our content, uh, any screen you look at, Technicolor is involved with that uh, dis display.